Algebraic Representations of Rotations, Lesson 9.4c. When points are rotated about the origin, the coordinates of the image can be found by using rules. We use multiplication, then swap the coordinates for 90 degree and negative 90 degree rotations. Positive degree numbers rotate clockwise, negative degree numbers rotate counterclockwise. So here's coordinate mapping of rotations. If we're doing 90 degree clockwise, we multiply each x coordinate by negative 1, then swap the x and y coordinates. So if we have x, y, it's going to map to multiplying the x coordinate by a negative 1 and then swapping them. So this y becomes the new x and this negative x becomes the new y. If we're going 90 degrees counterclockwise, which would be a negative 90 degrees, we multiply each y coordinate by negative 1, then swap the x and y coordinates. So we would multiply y coordinate by negative 1 and then we would swap places. So here's our negative y now as the x and our x now as the y. When we rotate 180 degrees, we multiply both coordinates by negative 1. Without swapping them, we just multiply them both by negative 1 and we're done. Triangle ABC is in quadrant 1 with vertices A at 0, 0 the origin, B is at 6, 0, and C is at 6, 3. It's telling us to find the vertices of triangle A prime, B prime, C prime after a 90 degree clockwise rotation. So we're going to rotate clockwise. We apply the rule. We're going to multiply each x value by negative 1, then swap x and y. So here's our ordered pairs for the vertices. We're going to multiply each x value by a negative 1, and we swap the x and y values. So we had 0 times negative 1 is 0, so that's a 0, 0. And since this is the origin, it's going to stay 0, 0 even when we swap it and multiply it by negative 1. But for b, we had 6, 0. When we multiply 6 times negative 1, we get a negative 6. But we're going to swap this negative 6 and the 0. So b prime is going to be 0, the old y, and negative 6, the new swapped y that used to be x. And for c, we go from 6, 3. We multiply that times negative 1 and get a negative 6, 3. And then we swap their places. And we graph the triangle and its image. So we've got the vertices plotted. We draw our line segments to connect them. And we can see that triangle ABC rotated 90 degrees clockwise to triangle a prime, B prime, C prime, and the origin is the center of rotation. So we just rotated triangle ABC 90 degrees clockwise. Rotating triangle ABC 90 degrees counterclockwise places triangle A prime, B prime, C prime in quadrant 2. First thing we do is apply the rule we're going to multiply each y value by negative 1 because we're going counterclockwise. And then we swap the x and y values. So we have our ABC vertice points, x and y. Now we multiply the y values times negative 1, and we swap. So the old y is now the new x, and the old x is now the new y. We graph them, and... We have our triangle and its image, triangle ABC, rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise. That would be a negative 90 degrees to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. We would have the same result by rotating triangle ABC 270 degrees clockwise. We could have gone around this way and been at the same place. A 270 degree clockwise rotation would place triangle A prime, B prime, C prime into quadrant 2 just as a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. We would follow the appropriate rule for clockwise or counterclockwise rotations. So if we have this triangle ABC and we rotate it all the way around 270 degrees, 90, 180, 270, it would be here where we have 
a prime, b prime, c prime. And if we just went a negative 90 degrees counterclockwise, it would be there. Quadrilateral ABCD has vertices of A at negative 4, 3, B at negative 3, 7, C at 1, 5, and D at the origin 0, 0. Find the vertices of quadrilateral A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime after a 180 degree rotation. We follow the rule multiplying both coordinates by negative 1. We have our coordinates for the pre-image. We multiply both coordinates by negative 1. We don't need to swap them. With 180, we just multiply both by negative 1 with no swapping, and we get a prime, b prime, c prime, d prime. We graph the quadrilateral and its image. We had the pre-image, and we've rotated it 180 degrees to here. Now we need to be careful. We rotated this pre-image 180 degrees around clockwise to the image. This is a 180 degree rotation. See how it's leaning into quadrant 2 and now it's leaning into quadrant 4? You may think that it reflected over the x-axis, but it didn't. If it was a reflection over the x-axis, it would look like this. This point would be above this point. That would be a reflection it would have just gone down like that. A rotation puts it here, so be very careful. Now the rule told us that if we were going to rotate 90 degrees clockwise, we had to multiply the x-coordinate by negative 1, and if we go 90 degrees counterclockwise, we have to multiply the y-coordinate by negative 1, and in both cases we're going to swap the x and y values. Well, it doesn't matter if we multiply by negative 1, then swap x and y, or if we swap x and y first, then multiply by negative 1. We'll get the same coordinates, but multiplying by negative 1 first will prevent errors. So that would be the preferred way. We're finished with 9.4, and we're moving on to 9.5, and we're going to be talking about combining transformations. We can combine translations with reflections. They're actually called glide reflections. We can combine transformations. Please join me for the next lesson and have a great day. Bye.